Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a Man Whitney U or Wilcoxon test. This is the same name, two different names for the same test. We discussed this in chapter seven of our textbook, Basic Statistics for the Behavioral and Social Sciences using R. And in that chapter, we discussed non-parametric tests of central tendency. This is the non-parametric equivalent of the test that we talked about in chapter six on comparing samples. So we would wanna use non-parametric tests when we can't assume normality in our data. And we do that very frequently when our sample sizes are small, um, say less than 50 observations. Now here I have the hospital data set that I've demonstrated um, the parametric tests with and we could definitely argue that parametric tests would be appropriate, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do a non-parametric test here. So I'm gonna begin by um, attaching the data set to save some keystrokes, since we're only working with this one data set. And um, what this test does is it ranks observations and magnitude across both your samples. This is an equivalent to like a t-test where you have a continuous measure um, such as length of stay and um, a categorical variable with two levels such as being readmitted to the hospital within 30 days. So that's what we'll take a look at. And what it does is it, it ranks them in magnitude across both samples, takes the sums of those ranks and then tests the hypothesis based on the sum of those ranks that the samples are from the same population. So let's begin by um, just looking at descriptive statistics for both of those samples. Um, I'm gonna require the site package that I had previously downloaded, and I'm gonna use the describe by function in that package to look at length of stay in both the readmit group and the group that was not readmitted. And here are the results from that described function. So we see that um, for those that were not readmitted within 30 days, um, there were 30 people. The mean number of days that they were in the hospital was 7.93. We're gonna pay attention to the medians here a little bit more, and we can see that the median, there's a 2.5 day difference between those who were readmitted and those that weren't um, with those who were readmitted initially spending more time in the hospital and the, and the means are also higher. So now we can test our hypothesis with our non-parametric test and um, it comes up nicely. It's Wilcock.test and we're gonna put our continuous variable and separate it from our grouping variable with a tilde. And we get a warning and the warning is telling us that um, there are ties between the samples. So there may be, say, a length of stay in the non-readmit group of five days, and we can also have a five-dayer in the readmit group. So there are ties within the group. So an exact p-value can't be calculated. But the output of this tells us that this is what we're looking at here. This is our calculated test statistic. And we show you the formulas and how to calculate this manually in the text. And here is our p-value, which is well above 0.05. So what, we, what this means is that we are unable to reject the null hypothesis that the samples are from different populations. So statistically, even though we see a 2.5 median day difference between the samples, they are not statistically different. And um, because, well, we, we can't reject the null hypothesis that they're from the same population. And I hope you found this video helpful.